All right, I'm Zanzi. Welcome back. It is your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Just in case you're wondering why does it look so crazy, but that's what we're all about because for this morning's fitness session, we're going to be joined by the extraordinary firefighters of Cape Town as they get ready to tackle the Two Oceans Half Marathon taking place this weekend. Now, standing alongside me is Jermaine Carlser, and he's going to be taking us through a fiery workout and also show us what they'll be carrying for 21 kilometers. We've also got uh, Liam on the other side over here. Yeah, so this is a big job, a big task. Jermaine, I'm struggling to just stand here right now, and I want to make sure everything that I'm wearing, is this what you're going to be wearing when you do this run? We're going to be wearing exactly what we're going to be wearing. This is about 16 kgs. I think you're missing a face mark, so that is another five, so it's maybe a 500 grams. So we're going to push it up to 17 kilograms that you're going to be wearing on the day. And you can feel here, if you can, if you can look on the inside. Oh, sorry. Mic in the way. Or is this the inside of this? As you can see, oh, it's quite tuning. tough to get in here. Yeah, the tunic over here. So while you're sweating, it's all going to be sitting in here. So actually, you're going to get a little bit heavier as you go along. Okay, hectic. And uh, yeah, with the with, with bunker pants as well. So it will be uh, a monumental feat when we cross that line. I think that's the only time that we're going to be smiling. And I think a, a few choice words will be will be spoken to, especially Duncan, because he <laughs> he's the younger one, and he like last year he raced down after we got to Weinberg Hill, so I had to just reel him in again. Yeah, but but he had just, tears of joy when he finished the line last year. I'm just thinking right now, me standing in this thing, I'm sweating. The bag feels so uncomfortable. It's heavy to me. And I hike with like multi-day mm -hmm. packs on my back and still I'm thinking to myself, this is awkward. It's making me feel heavy. I can't see properly. The, the, the helmet alone <laughs> is throwing my weight off. Jumping and moving with this bag on my back is going to cause like constant damage on the lower back. Bro, this is crazy. And I have utmost respect for you, and I clearly can understand why you need to be able to do this, because in the situations you put yourself mm. in, you need to be literally ready for anything. And clearly that's why you train like this. So let's put us through the paces. Let's see if I can, someone that does train, that fancies himself to be a bit strong, let's see if I actually have what it takes to be no. fire fit <laughs> and fire strong, because I think that's a whole nother level. Yeah, not a bit strong. We've seen your videos. <laughs> We've seen your videos. Next year, you'll, you'll be donning this gear and running with us. Oh, we'll be honored to join the team but let's go through some tests here and see how hard this really is what do you got for us so one of the things would be the two 25 kg zams this is when we normally do a uh, five, 50 meters up and a 50 meters down 50, about 50 meters up, so 100 in total and then obviously five sets of those um, Liam will demonstrate with a with a kettlebell there uh, your lunges and that this is all to do with uh, strengthening your core and obviously strengthening your legs and that over there is also with the ropes you that's about five sets you do about say 30 seconds of those Rest for 10 seconds and you get do another 30 seconds, also five sets. What's with you firefighters loving fires? If it's not out in the field, it's in your body when the muscles are burning. Wherever it is, you just like the heat, right? Yeah. We love a challenge. <laughs> That's one thing, we love a challenge. Right. I'm going to go with the spirit of challenges and try to join you. Let's try and challenge so, ourselves to this so workout. So important, obviously. Okay. You bend, bend your knees, lift it up, and then just walk like this. Okay, it, it's looking easy now because I'm doing only about five five to ten meters. But that'll then, add up after and then, 100 yeah. meters, right? And, and you then, said five sets in yeah, total. Five sets of those. Can I take this for a spin, bro? So this is about five, 500 feel, meters that you have. I feel to. like I'm already carrying this with this back of my back. <laughs> okay, let's go. So watch the lower back. Up. Are these the same when you? Yes, that's the same. No, <laughs> definitely the same. Okay. All right, come on, we're live TV. Let's go. Ooh. Okay, there's some, there's some weight here for sure. Yo! But bro, I see what you mean about forcing the core to work right now. You really got to get your stability on. You got to get your ooh, your foundation and uh, that is awkward. Oh man, Indeed. that's like 10 meters and you do oh. 100 of that times five. Definitely. Ah, uh, no, nah, I'd That's respect. Okay, I see you. What's next? What do you Liam got for us? Liam will so demonstrate that. strength is really important. Yeah. Uh, you're dragging hoses up and down a mountain, so you need to make sure that you've got your lunges. Uh, because most of your power comes from your legs. Yeah. Uh, having big arms is only half the battle. <laughs> <laughs> and I like how you're using one weight because often in a real life environment, you don't get these perfect examples no. where you're lifting up a, a perfectly weighted bar or Correct. you're not pulling up something that's evenly distributed. So I love how you're forcing unilateral work here. That means that the core gets extra stimulus. Definitely. You guys aren't exactly. just beautiful bodies and pretty faces, I see, <laughs> Wow. Eh? That's, that's more a than good you. compliment. <laughs> that's a good compliment. That's in writing. When it comes to exercise, 
exercise, you know, how many reps, how many sets of these would you do? So how many reps or sets would you be doing? Jermaine, I mean, oh, you just go to the pins. That's another, that, that will be, we take it that, that up to about 10, 10 okay. sets. Can I, can I try this yes. out? I want to see, because everything in my world right now has changed after wearing the suit. So you're going for a forward <laughs> lunge, right? That's it. Ooh, okay, so check out the shakes here. About 30 Extra stability. <sighs> okay, and okay, I'm, I got you. Oh, that's going to burn. <laughs> Very nice stuff. All right, gents. My engine is like on halfway already. You're using up all the fuel, but let's keep going. I love this. What's next here? You even haven't gotten to Weinberg Hill yet. <laughs> so this, this is all with core stability. And obviously, and this you do for about two minutes. Two minutes? Yes. Are you mad, man? Because this is the kind of burn that you're going to feel if you go up Southern Cross. Jermaine, is this more about what's really at stake and what's required when you're a firefighter? The ability to go to that dark place when your body's saying no, the ability to push on through that time when there isn't time on your hands, but somehow you have to keep going? Is that really the mindset for yes, you guys? Yes, it is. And, and as I always say, pain is just the indicator that, you stay, that you're saying that you're still alive. If you don't feel pain, then you're going to be in trouble. Okay, so pain <laughs> is a blessing then. You put it like that, then it's a luxury to feel it, especially in the situations that you guys put yourselves in. And again, this is just a small percentage of what is actually required when you're out on the field. And this is a controlled environment. When you're out there, there's obviously moments where you've got to make quick decisions. You have to make life-changing decisions as well. Guys, thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for the time and commitment you put into being prepared to save our lives, to save our mountain, to save our region. I'm so grateful for this. And Truly, 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 <laughs> absolutely have so much respect for what you're about to do this weekend, guys. If you have an opportunity, please get out there. Go support these incredible people doing the absolute most for you to protect our incredible world and playground that we get to play in. And I'm so grateful for this. I'm going to be cheering you on, and hopefully I can try share a kilometer or two <laughs> in the next one. But guys, absolute respect, man. Wishing nothing but the best of luck. You, you are time. officially my heroes, and I hope you guys can get behind them. Absolutely amazing stuff, guys. Well done. Thank you. Whew.